Alright guys, so I thought I would um, get out another video um, today before it got too late. And I thought it would be interesting to show you guys some of the 44 Magnum ammunition I have accumulated over the years. Uh, most of what I shoot is hand-loaded ammunition at this point. Um, I've been hand-loading for about 10 or 12 years. But uh, before I started, I did accumulate a fair amount of factory ammunition. I don't really shoot it much anymore. Um, kind of, I just hold on to it and I almost collect it, I guess, now. Um, but uh, I thought it would be interesting to show you some of the older boxes and, and what the ammunition used to be like. So first off, we have the Hornady Custom. This is a 20 round box and the cartridge itself is, um, or the bullet itself is a 300 grain Hornady XTP. Um, pretty heavy duty load. Um, I like to hand load these. Um, you can load them pretty hot. They probably are around 1150 or 1200 feet per second out of a 7 inch barrel. This particular box is from about the late 80s, maybe 88 or 89, I'm guessing. Um, they don't, um, the boxes don't look like this anymore. Um, so it's kind of an, a, probably a 24 year old box or so. The next one is slightly newer, it's Federal. And this one is a little lighter, it's a 240 grain um, hollow point. It's got a fairly deep hollow point, as you can see. Um, I've never hand loaded these particular bullets before, but um, it's, a, it's a decent hunting load. Um, they have the exposed lead tip for, helps with expansion. They have a relatively light crimp for, for a heavy load. Usually a uh, crimp you would think would be a little heavier. Maybe uh, you can see on the horn Hornady round that the crimp is significantly heavier than it is on the Federal round. Um, probably because of the added mass of the 300 grain projectile. Um, and that crimp aids in keeping the bullets from setting back under recoil in the cylinder. This box here is probably from the early 90s, I'm guessing. Again, another box of... Uh, actually, there's 25 in this box here. Um, these were the old Federal Classic boxes. They don't, again, they don't make the boxes to look like that anymore. Um, moving up the ladder a little bit, um, we come to a Remington factory load. This also is a exposed lead hollow point. If it'll focus, you can see it's quite a quite a deep cavity there. This one is uh, 180 grains lead hollow point. And um, this particular load is no longer offered by Remington. It's the uh, 180 grain semi-jacketed hollow point. Uh, it was, well, I, I thought it was a fairly popular uh, loading, but apparently not, because if it was, they'd still be making it. But um, this is really zippy. When you touch some of these off, man, I'll tell you, it, uh, you, know, you know you've, you've shot a gun when, you've, when you pull the trigger on one of these. The recoil isn't crazy, but the muzzle blast and, um, and, and the, the, just the volume and the, con the concussion from the, from the round going off is amazing. These things go, oh, 1,600 feet per second easy out of a seven inch barrel and man the fire if you shoot these things at night it uh, flies out of the barrel at least a foot it's unbelievable um, dad has used these or used to use these for deer hunting quite a bit out of his rifle and man they are a screamer but I um, I think I've got four boxes of these left uh, they come in a box of 25 but you can't buy them anymore you can buy the components but they do not offer this as a loaded factory ammunition any longer. Um, they do have, I'll move down the line to this one where we're on 180 grains, they do still make 180 grain jacketed soft point from Remington under their UMC banner and the difference is um, it's not a hollow point, it's just a semi jacketed soft point. Um, I believe the UMC does not use 
quite as high quality components as the um, regular Remington red and white box does. So they are a cheaper round. Um, I, I'm sure they would be fine for a whitetail. Honestly, whitetails are not that difficult to kill. So I'm sure these would be fine for a whitetail deer. But it is, again, a zippy load, probably around 1,600 feet per second. And you can buy these still, but um, not the semi-jacketed hollow point any longer. Then I'll move over to the uh, two oldest boxes that I have. Um, these ones I picked up. This one here is a uh, Western. I believe it was made by Winchester uh, under the Western Super X name. Um, these are called uh, Lubaloy bullets. And it was, uh, I guess, a marketing scheme. It really didn't work all that well, but it, supposedly these were, um, they wouldn't lead the barrel. All these really are is a lead semi wad cutter with some sort of a orangish coating outside of the bullet itself and it supposedly um, wouldn't lead the barrel and they called it the Lubaloy. This is a 240 grain um, just a lead semi wad cutter, relatively soft lead. I have fired some of these over a chronograph and they are cranking. Um, I mean they are insane they're like 1475 feet per second um, and that was out of a five inch barrel and man the the muzzle blast the recoil um, it is it is insane on these rounds um, I don't know what the pressure what pressure they're running but um, it's probably the hottest factory load I've ever fired I've got a couple of boxes of these these are uh, boxes of 50 and obviously they don't make these anymore I, I don't even believe the Western Super X name is still still around I think uh, Winchester um, now calls it the Winchester Super X but um, they didn't even come back then with a styrofoam insert they just came all jammed in there but uh, they have a double crimp groove you'll notice and that is again to keep the bullet from setting back under recoil but this is a absolutely screaming load if you can ever get a hand uh, get a hold of some of these sometimes at gun shows or yard sales you might find an old box of these sitting around it is unbelievable you really <laughs> words don't describe you have to really really feel it um, it's a fun round to shoot and at last we have the oldest box um, oh I'm sorry this this is from the late 70s I think 1979 is when this box was was produced so we're talking coming on 35 years now so it's it's a old box but uh, man they, they're, they're still a very powerful round. Um, and finally, we have the Remington 44 mag, uh, 240 grain soft point. All this is is simply a 240 grain soft lead semi wad cutter. Um, I believe they do have um, gas checks on the back to, to help with leading. I actually have never fired these. This is a full box of 50. Um, I believe this box was produced in 1968. So this box is 45 years old, and I'm not going to bother to to fire any of the rounds. It's a it's a complete box. I figured I might as well just keep it complete. I, I don't know that the value. I don't know if it has any collector value or not, but it's just kind of a neat thing. Um, there can't be too many of those around. In complete full box form. The box is in decent condition so I I guess I just keep it as a collector's item but um, I have no idea what the velocity of these are or the recoil or muzzle, muzzle blast or anything like that. It's just kind of interesting to have a 45 year old box of 44 magnums. Um, when this box was produced the 44 magnum wasn't really that old of a caliber. I believe 1956 is when they came out and these were only 12 years after that so uh, it was I guess the new kid on the block at that time so kind of an interesting trip down memory lane if you're at all interested in in older ammunition um, I'll try to get another video or two posted before the end of the weekend and uh, thanks for watching if you like what you saw uh, please subscribe please like and uh, have a great evening